Okay. Today would have been a normal day if it weren't for the new transferee student. Miss Bonnie introduced him as a half American, half Japanese kid. And he goes by the name Ashton Frey. He has small eyes that perfectly match the color of his messy dark blue hair. Miss Bonnie intru instructed him to take the empty seat next to me. I was happy at first. I didn't actually have a seatmate until today. The thought of finally having a friend made me super excited. Boop, boop. Okay. Okay, is that all of the game? Stobies. Okay. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. But that didn't last long because as it turned out, that Ashton guy is a cold-hearted snob. He's what happened. Me? Hi, Ashton. Smiles, extends hand. I'm Rebecca. Nice to meet you. Him. Right. Me, so you're half Japanese, huh? Do you know how to speak Japanese? Maybe. Oh, that's nice. How are you liking the school so far? Don't know. I just got here. Okay. Well, I think you're so noisy. He then placed his headset on, blatantly ignored me. Can you believe it? And I was trying to be nice. Just my luck. The first time I get a seatmate, and he had to be a, such a jerk. I looked at him, and he was just blankly staring out the window, obnoxiously uninterested in anything that was just happening around him. He was locked in his own world. Oh well, so much for making friends. Guess I'll mind my own business for now. It's not like I'm desperate to have a friend or anything. I am. And besides, exams are coming up. I've always been the undefeated top for top one for the past years. Hmm. I don't intend on giving up on my throne anytime soon. Wink, wink. After class, I went straight to the library to borrow my books. I just love reading and immersing myself in the different worlds. It's so much livelier and colorful compared to m the compared to my real life. I greeted Miss Pristine, our school librarian, and returned the books I had previously borrowed. Came to borrow more books, my dear? She asked with a smile. You bet. My goal is to read every book they have in here. I approached the mysterious section. And to my amazement, Ashton was here. He was reading. The body in the library, Agatha Christie, huh? How fitting. I was impressed. Ashton didn't strike me as a reader type. Looks like we have something in common after all. 
I made my way past him and was taken aback when he suddenly snorted. What? He was not reading, he was sleeping. He was using the precious book as a cover-up. I couldn't believe it. Sheesh. I was really tempted to call him out, but then again, I don't want anything to do with him since he's a snob. I'll call him out on it. I'm gonna be an asshole. Hey, I said, the library is for reading and studying, not sleeping. I snatched the book away. He opened his eyes, replied coolly and annoyingly, You again. We're in the library. Keep it down. Don't change the subject. My dear, is everything okay? Miss Pristine asked when she noticed the commotion. I glanced at Ashton. He was not looking at anything in particular. His face was still showing pure disinterest in whatever happened. Yes, Miss Pristine, he responded. <laughs> he turned to me and pointed at Agatha Christine Christie book. Are you going to borrow that? I shook my head and handed him the book. Sorry. After signing the library card, he turned and left without saying a word. Okay. Nope. Well, that's all for right now. <laughs> this is kind of ridiculous. But I look forward to it. So, yeah. This has been Lilac Lavender Licious, and this has been The New Kid or Dear Diary, something like that. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Bye-bye!